so <clears throat> you can see this ad um like i said they're gonna try to do everything possible that every time you look at anybody who's a child could be a child who looks like a child you're gonna get some perceptions of some sort i was just scrolling through youtube I was just going through YouTube, just scrolling down, and this ad for this boarding school came up. I didn't, I, I just scrolled fast. I didn't even see anything. Like, I didn't even care to, you know, I just scroll. But I, I get this, um, I got this feeling, this weird sensation, this weird stimulation. Just a quick weird one. So I go back, it's like this, let me see, are they even kids? Is there, is there a reason why they're doing this thing? And I'm looking, and of course they're kids. This is a boarding school, and you see, especially when you look at the kid all the way to the right, you see that she's the obvious teenager. And, and the others, they were trying to force me, like, some, some, some stimulations of some sort. Matter of fact, as I was making this video, they were doing this. And at so, one point, they started, they gave me stimulations, right? They gave me feelings, sensation, that I know is not natural. They started making me look at these kids, uh, especially those two uh, to the left, trying to make me perceive them in a sexual way, just because they're kids, right? And so they'll make me look at their legs and try to create some fingers. Try like really only be, the only reason they do, do they do this is because they're kids. Obviously, naturally, I would not even care much. I would not look at them in any way sexual. In any way sexual, I just scroll. Okay, oh, okay, what well, good, well, good you know, boring school ad, whatever. Now they try to give me perception because they're kids in a sexual way. And then it becomes it becomes something where oh oh but okay you could easily tell that those the the one or two the right was a kid but those two you know it's, it could be a little bit harder to tell, like it it becomes just sad things that they try to make me subscribe to, you know I traveled a lot and I saw everybody try to make you subscribe you take picture of them you see them try to escape into some other reality. They want to leave this fantasy. Well, the fact is they're in a program that forces people to accept this, to try to make people accept this, this false perception. This thing will not do anything to me. I know. Of course, they know that. Their job is to make me accept this. They're trying to condition me into, first of all, accepting these manipulations and also gaslight me into accepting it. You, as I'm making this video, there's somebody outside doing noise, cons uh, noise campaign with, with this, some kind of like construction machinery. And this is all conditioning tactics. And say high school, like like this is something I will. That's what that's what I'm interested in, and it forced me to feel like and have perception and have thoughts of certain natures toward these kids, because they're kids. Of course, if they do that to like babies, they can do that to like teenage kids like in high school, whatever, boarding school they're in. So it's, it's they do their best, and like no, you just attract them, and then they try to find ways. Okay, how can we validate this obvious manipulation? Uh, but in 2014, in 2014, as I'm saying that somebody throws something, just to, bah, it's part of the, the conditioning. In 2014, you follow this person. You follow this person. Uh, in 2014, as I'm talked about it, maybe, I don't know how many times at this point, I followed this person thinking she's an adult. She looked much more like an adult. I was like in my 20s. She looked like she was in her 20s, but she wasn't. Right? And it's like, but you remember that time you followed this person. That was an adult, but she looked very much like an adult. And me being in my 20s, thought she was an adult. And so you see, then, almost 10 years ago, you followed this person thinking that she was an adult. No. You're doing this man manipulations to me. Yes, I followed somebody in 2014 that who I thought was an adult, but wasn't. Now, today, what you're doing is making me have perception and stimulation toward kids. Kids of all age. And you hear these people in the, in the purpose, purpose coming out of the, 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 their, their apartment. She's telling me I'm going to stress. I'm going to try to disorient you into accepting these manipulations. Well, it's obvious they force you to experience these things. Listen to this. You'll never take my will, ASS. So just to show them that I meant what I said. I kept playing with my dog, and even though that attacks continue, I don't let them get me. Today, they continue with the programming of perversion, but this time they are aiming at the use. The people, better said young people, also children and homosexuals. When I aggravated them, I usually called demeaning names, and one of them is referring to homosexuals. For me, all of the slaves are misfits, society haters, scumbags, etc. No, I don't have anything personal against them, homosexuals, but as my way to aggravate the slaves, and since they love to use children for the torture and stalking, street theater, etc. 
especially teenagers for the stalking at close range with an attitude. They are using them during my sleep in the perversion. There's a tactic of using children in a sexual way. They do these things to where they're supposed to degrade you and force you to experience disturbing experience toward children of all ages. Of course, the older kids is, is not as bad as the younger kids. And it's probably easier to do exp to 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 create those experiences toward these older kids because they look more like adults. And but you hear this purpose, right? As I'm making these videos, what they're doing is trying to disorient me. They come up because they want me to be like, no, we, this is proof because in 2014 you followed this person. So now what you're experiencing today is, 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 is matching. No, I know this people are kids. I look like kids. You're forcing me to have perception that I don't, I will not have naturally. There's nothing, they're, they're very normal kids here. Listen, they're not, you know, nothing. They, they're just regular kids going to, like, it's just as normal as they, uh, kids are. They're forcing me to try to create some perceptions. They're going to do their best. These people filled with pedophiles. These people who can't even speak about an actual pedophile that picked up kids. These people who is renowned to do this program perversion aimed toward children to try to get you to subscribe to it. And they use these different methods of trying to disorient you. Oh, they talk about the torture. I'm having issues with my teeth. They do things to my teeth. I can feel my teeth decaying. Oh, you, you, you might be chewing. Meaning our uh, issue chewing. Oh, you'll be praying. Saying that I'll be praying because I will ask God to give me strength, which is true. I will be praying. But I will never subscribe to your pedophilia things. This is one of them. One of many. They are forcing people to have perception toward children. Of all ages. This is what I've been saying since then one. And I know because I keep bringing that up over and over and not letting them live their fantasy. That is going to be worse for me. Because on top of the, the, the testimony that they do these pedophilia things. They are filled with actual pedophiles in these agencies. What do you even say to these people who are like, no, we, we're tracking, what do they do? And that's how they, they use this childlike tone of voices. Try to sound like they're really relaxed. It's just like you relax about the fact that it's obvious. This is this ad will do nothing to me. Why, why would I even look at them? These kids, I'm just, they're there just chill, just walking to the whatever. Now I'm forced to have this perception because they're kids. And sometimes it's not even about being, them being kids it's like, or be, having per perceptions or, or simulations. It's what age would you give them? Oh, you could guess them to be this age. It's just nonsensical. This is a people who do the perfect type of torture who are trying to get you to accept these perfect things. Right now in my mind, it's like, oh, but you see that 2014 day that went, that the 2014 the time when you 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 follow this person that's just validation that's like trash i know that you guys do this very fair type of torture i know you forced me to have these perceptions this is what you've been doing you tortured not only women but children too so there's nothing you can say to me to not see you for what you are you know I, when i was traveling there's all kind of people trying to, to play this game oh it's you it's like you can't even say roy moore or men that picked up kids you feel pedophiles. You torture children. You force people to have perception toward children. You think I came up with this testimony? By the way, what you heard earlier was a testimonial of a woman in Florida. She has kids and everything else. Do you know that they have her have this perception? Not only that they condition her by having those dreams toward teenagers. Did I come up with this thing? They do everything to counter reality. And block our reality. That's why I make these videos. It's not going to change what's going to happen to me. I know that. But I'm not going to let them leave the fence. They're going to have to dumb themselves down. You know, being at the, I, I went to the airport. These guys tell me how I'm going to be tortured. It's like, oh, kill him. And I looked at him. I was like, before, I said, can you say it? He said, we knew. No. Roy Moore. He got quiet. You know how much stuff they were telling me how I'm going to get tortured. They, they don't even, and before, after that, I started listening to the pedophilia ongoing issues, patterns that's ongoing in this intelligence community. I'm saying, <clears throat> there's some level of faith here. As they try to make me accept these pedophilia things, you find out that these people who've been doing this pedophilia type of tormenting are filled with pedophiles. Are filled with pedophiles in all agencies. 
I mean, it's not like just one here and there. I mean, it's, it's, it's a pattern. It's, it's a problem. While these people are trying to make me subscribe, it's like, no, we are verifying. <laughs> Knowing that they, these people are filled, I mean, it's them near on the right, it's, it's, it's below the, the Catholic Church. But it's not that far. These people have issues with pedophilia. While they are here creating technology that can override your thoughts in all these different nasty ways. And now you, have, you look at this ad because the ads of kids, teenage kids going some, they try to force me, they would make me look at their legs, right? Try to create, how can we create a perception of, of sexuality? So they try to go into the kids that look a little bit older. There's two other kids, try to find ways to create them because the other one looks too much like a child. Uh, the other two we can create a little bit more. It's just nasty. And it's like, oh, but no, you know, we proved it because in 2014, you follow this person. I follow somebody who looked like an adult. I thought she was an adult. I never talked to this person. Me, 20-something years old, look at her. I thought she was in her 20s. I was wrong, but she looked like 20, in her 20s. Now I'm here, I'm in my 30s, looking at these people who look like kids. I don't know how, you know, but they look like kids who are very young. And like, forcing me to have this perception towards these people, these kids. And sometimes it's not even, they don't even have to be actual kids. They're people who could be thought of as children. It's like if, if, if they show me somebody like in the early 20s, oh my gosh, it'll be the same battle. It'll be, it'll, not only be, it'll be even a worse battle. Because then they'll be like, oh, what age is she? And because they're like 21, 22, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I can tell. And then they try to do the stimulation things. This is what they do. It's a bunch of manipulations that they're going to try to get you to subscribe to. And you have to be strong because they manipulate your perceptions. I bring that up all the time. But Mariana herself said the same thing. I didn't understand what perception manipulation meant until I experienced it. It means that they can make you perceive things in certain ways. Whatever you see, whatever you even, whatever you even hear, can perceive in different ways. The meaning of something that's obviously can be changed to something else. What you see, the way you perceive things can be changed. And it's highly perverted. And I'm not a sense. So uh, for me, when, when it comes to the highly perversion, it's the, the pedophilia things they do. Listen to this. Shortly thereafter, I got my period two weeks early. When I, they coordinate the voices and thought recently they even started adding moaning, left feeling completely and severely numb for days. And I and discovered that this is one of the well-known biological effects of severe microwave radiation poisoning. Then the severe electronic sexual assault started. And when I say severe, I really mean extreme. I experienced an entire night with forced spontaneous orgasms repeatedly all through the night, one right after another, with maybe around one hour of sleep or so, as I lay immobilized in my bed in complete fear. This experience, along with the brain being microwaved, and along with some internet research, is what made me put the puzzle pieces together to realize that I was experiencing remote external manipulation via electronic weapons, because these symptoms of sexual assault were not physiologically normal or possible without external manipulation. It is not physiologically normal to just have repeated spontaneous orgasms all through the night like that, literally one right after another. And then it all made sense when I learned about microwave weapons. In 2015, I began to experience what some call V2K, or voice to skull. This involves the projection of voices, noises, and music directly into my mind to communicate with me in real time and at the speed of thought. And it also includes the manipulation of thoughts, emotions, and perceptions in the person's mind. Additionally, the targeting is all highly perverted and sexual as well. So she goes through her sexual torture, which is something they commonly do. This quote unquote uh, uh, Avengers. But they also did this V2K manipulation of V2K, which can manipulate your thoughts. Force, you know, you can hear what people say from afar. And they can manipulate your perceptions. And this is usually highly perverted. And Mariana also talks about the perfect type of torture, which is also shows. So it's obvious that they have these ways of manipulating your thoughts in this perverse way. 
I'm not the first. I'm not the last. And I'm saying when I, and I'm sure. Listen, I've thought of women in many sexual ways many times. But these people are forcing me to experience perceptions of per perverse ways toward children. Specific. If let's just say if there's a random person walking around, they're just normal. Like they're just. And let's just say at the moment this person looks like they're an adult. No, none of this manipulation would happen. Immediately, when this person says, let's just say she's not an adult, she's a child, immediately, they will start creating a perception of some kind of perverse ways. That's what they do. And they're like, no, there is. We, we investigate. Remember in 2014? We, and that, that's how they sound. They use this childlike people. It's part of like just kind of agitating you. No, it's you, and they try to find ways. Okay, do you know that time in 24, like almost nine, eight years ago, eight, nine years, you followed this person thinking she was an, like, and trying to, and no, you see, you attracted me. Because in 2014, you followed somebody who looked like an adult. If I show a picture, I think I've shown it many times, you would think that she's an adult because she's one of those people who looks much older than her age. And me in my 20s thought that she was close to my, you know, like not too, too, too much old, younger than me. Because, she, the way she presented herself, the way she looked. And to them, it's like, oh, that's proof. You see, now when, when we force you to get this perception, this is proof. These are people who are in a program that manipulate people into these ways and feel into, think, and, into seeing things in these ways. But the cherries on top of the cherries on top of the testimony, they are filled with pedos, pedophiles. And then it's, it's, it, the, the thing is, these pedophiles are trying to get you to become a pedophile. And they're like, no, you are a pedo. And they try to kind of counter reality because they work for pedophiles. And on top of that, they came and speak an actual pedophile who picked up kids. And you know how they counter? Oh, you're going to scream because I'm going to be tortured. Yes, I'm going to be tortured because you can't say Roy Moore. And you're, you're trying to counter reality. You don't dare. You, you won't dare to say Roy Moore and they like to call it we dare. No, you can't. You, you're not daring. You're doing what you're allowed to be doing. But you're not saying Roy Moore, a pedophile's name. These people have been trying to get you to accept these things. That's what they like to like to be taking pictures of. When I, when I see them, I was at the airport. You see them in person. You see them for what they are. Oh my gosh. And you'll be seeing a lot of videos of those moments when I went to the airport. Oh. You see this quote unquote uh bearers. Oh you're like, oh my gosh, obvious perps, obvious bottom feeders for this program. You see these people who want to be oh this is our it's our justice. They try to come up with because they were trying to make themselves be like we're this group of feminists and like I'm I'm listening to this te testimony of women being sexually tortured by this technology, right? Which is what they do. And looking at her, she just looking down, just escaping, trying to go into another world. I will not let them live their fantasy. They do horrible things to even children. And you hear this child, now nah, you pay. And I know they use this kind of children too when they torture these women and children. Because it doesn't take much. They, these people are not, like they're, they're, they're not the bravest. They're, they're just, they're like childlike people. They do this thing in, from, from afar and it's, they're going to watch it. But they can't even save Roy Moore. So to all my target individuals, do not subscribe to this nastiness, this manipulation from these ads or whatever. Next is I'm going to look at it. They're going to force you to get this perception. This is what they do. In the meantime, while I can say it, I'll say it. And then I'll be tormented and tortured the ways they, they, go, they told me I'm going to be tortured. But I will never give them that fantasy.